What's up, Internet? Corey Zamier here. It's time to show off approximately two and a half weeks worth of pickups at trade events, flea markets, and video game stores. Let's go. All right, so I'm going to try and go a little bit chronological with this. Not going to save the best for last or anything. Um, although I think I am going to end up showing you the best items last. Uh, first game I actually picked up at the Congo Trade Event down in Orange. Went down there after attending a wedding and didn't really set up. Or actually, didn't set up at all. Brought my bag of trade stuff and decided to try and trade. Traded with... Ronnie, who often hooks me up with awesome stuff. He's getting rid of some mediocre, I guess, turbo graphics games. And I asked him which one he'd recommend. He said, out of the ones he had, the most playable one, Tiger Road. So let me know in the comments below if you like Tiger Road. Um, I know legit nothing about it, but we did a trade for that. And that was the only thing I picked up at that Congo trade event. At the flea market, I was able to pick up one PSP game, which is a rarity, honestly. Um, and that is R-Type Command for the PSP. Complete. And to be honest, I thought this was something that might have been purchased previously at the Grid Games. Because it has like the exact same price sticker that he would have for, I'm pretty sure, the exact same price as he has this listed at his shop right now. I uh, paid only $5 for it. Uh, went to uh, Cliffcon, Cliffscon. I don't know how to really say it. It's a comic show that happens at the Plainville VFW. Uh, missed out on seeing Russ Lyman, ran into Ariel. Uh, we were both purchasing games from the same vendor. I ended up getting four games from him for $12 total, and I think I got a fucking steal of the deal. This guy always gives really good deals. Um, to the point where I almost don't want to tell you where this is, and I already did, so it's, it's out of the bag. If you guys are in the area, fuck it. Whatever. Um, first up, we have Tower of... J or, nope. It's part of the Tower of Juraga series, I believe. The Nightmare of Juraga. Fushigino Dungeon. It's a PS2 RPG I've had a few times. Never seem to hold on to it. I might now. Uh, then we got Asterisk and Obelix, Kick Buttocks. This looks to be a 3D platformer action game uh, with some cartoon characters that I'm honestly not that familiar with. We got the Xbox version of The Warriors, a game I've had a few times. I'm really looking forward on the PS2. Complete. Nice shape. Three bucks. It's like a $15 game. And the one that I actually saw there last time and didn't pick up, and I'm told is kind of uncommon, I don't know, at least in the condition it's in. Uh, Watchmen, The End is Nigh. This is actually a combo pack with the Blu-ray movie and the game, which is really, really cool. I thought about picking it up last time, I didn't. Uh, for three bucks this time, I feel like that's a pretty good deal. Seems to be pretty complete, has the slipcover, slipcover is a little bit mangled on one edge but it's whatever i really enjoyed the movie enjoyed the comic maybe i'll enjoy the game so 12 bucks for those um next up is a game that i ended up picking up at game exchange for their buy two get one free sale uh, oddly enough, I don't have the other games to show you because they're actually games for Ted. He's been collecting for the Sega Master System, and to be honest, I don't remember what games they were. Uh, it was two games from there. He, I picked up a whole bunch for him recently, uh, but the game I got out of the deal was <laughs> one that I can give a shit less about. Uh, World Class Baseball. It was either this or the football game. I forgot what the football game's called for the turbo graphics but this one was more affordably priced so i went with this 
Um, at the flea market one weekend, I was able to pick up one strategy guide, X-Men Legends 2. Pretty nice shape. A game that I realistically might play eventually uh, for the PS2. So, picked it up for two bucks. So next up, let's take a look at what I got from Carlgo. That's the Grid Games trade event. Uh, didn't have a great turnout, but I made a decent amount of money, got rid of a lot of my garage sale inventory to Carl himself, and I had a lot of fun. So I made a trade with um, Andrew locally, traded him a sealed copy of Crisis Core, Final Fantasy VII, for Valkyrie Profile Lenneth. Uh, for the PSP, PSP game for a PSP game, pretty good deal. Um, unfortunately, I thought I didn't have this. I thought I had gotten rid of my copy. I do happen to have it already, right here. That's not it. There it is. But his is actually in a little bit better shape. Mine, the case has some sticker residue, manuals, probably in about the same shape. So it's a little bit of an upgrade, I guess. Uh, I'm going to be holding on to one of those and selling the other one off. That was just a straight up trade. Uh, made a purchase for Ted from Carl um, for a couple Sega Master System games. And <laughs> uh, for facilitating the purchase, because Ted wasn't there. Uh, he was basically shopping over the phone with me. Um... Carl gifted me a PSP game that he had on the shelf. Brand new game I've wanted to pick up for quite some time, ever since I heard of it. Uh, Fat Princess, Fistful of Cake. A little strategy game from what I remember. Um, brand new. First party Sony title, you know. It only had it priced at $5, so it wasn't like a gigantic steal. But game I wanted for the collection, and I got it for free. Or just helping out getting a deal to my friend Ted and getting some Sega Master System games out of Carl's inventory that he's had for quite some time. But uh, one of the games was Golden Axe Warrior, which is like the second rarest game or second most expensive game on the system. So Ted's Master System collection is coming together pretty nicely. Uh, uh, and the last two things I got from that event from Don from Scoreless uh, Printing. I got this here Super Nintendo shirt for $15. And um, he gifted me a Nintendo hoodie, which I think this is the only one he's made of it so far. I don't know if it's something you could actually just purchase from him or if it had to be special made or what, but I'm absolutely in love with this hoodie. Fits perfectly. It's almost too warm. But luckily, it's snowing outside right now, so it's going to be warm enough for the weather we have coming. I'm not going to need a winter jacket, I don't think. It's one of the warmest hoodies I think I've ever had. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you can check out some pictures I posted of the hoodie with me actually wearing it. I'm sitting down right now. It'd be kind of hard to put on, and it would be kind of shitty to try and model from this position. Um, <laughs> I thought that was going to be it, but because of other videos like Saturday you saw... Last Saturday, you saw a gift package I received from my Patreon subscriber, Totterbert. So this video is actually coming out a little bit later, so it has some pickups that I didn't think would be in this video. I went to Retro Games Plus on a whim with Ted. We filmed a Collecting with Corey show that you might have seen already, or you might be seeing in the future, depending on when I post it. And he picked up a ton of Sega Master System games, probably like, well... I say a ton, it's like seven or eight. I uh, got a really good deal on them because some of the games didn't ring up correctly. Um, and I got a good deal on some DS games because they don't know their value, I guess. Uh, but first, it was an Xbox game that I had to bundle together because they have a buy three, get one free sale on certain systems. And I ran out of DS games that I wanted to pick up. So we went to the Xbox to pick up Samurai Showdown 5. Let me know if this is any good. I haven't heard anything about it. It's an only on Xbox title, so I'm very happy to have it. But we were... We were we were making a killing with these DS games. 
Uh, the first one is just for me to keep because I like the Thundercats. I like the new series. I love the old series. So I picked up Thundercats on the DS. It looks like a side-scrolling beat-em-up kind of. Maybe just an action platformer. It says side-scrolling action. Thundercats, ho! Become lion and wield the legendary Sword of Omens. Action from the new animated series. Side-scrolling action. Summon Chitara, Tigra, and more. Might be fun. Who knows? I haven't heard anything about it. Looked cool. And then there were two DS games that... One of them I've resold a few times and has continuously grown in value. And that was Aliens Infestation. I think I've sold this like three times already. And I usually am able to get it for like less than five bucks. This one was eight dollars, but it was, you know, buy three, get one free. So whatever the overall math on that is. Uh, game goes for around 40, I believe, from what I checked when I was in the shop. And another game is one that I had never heard of. It looks to be some sort of survival horror game, which means I won't play it. And I don't really need it in my collection if I'm not going to play it. I, I looked it up because, you know, curiosity. And that game is Moon. The moon has more than one dark side. 2058 Lunar Outpost Alpha. Uh, routine geographical excavation reveals a subterranean structure of unknown origin. You are Major Kane, chief of the military operations for the extraterrestrial encounter organization. You and your men have been brought in to investigate. Strange energy readings and reports of missing personnel tell you that this will not be a diplomatic mission or an easy one. Welcome to the moon. The game goes for about 20 to 30 from what I remember seeing. So it's a pretty good recouper at $10 plus, you know, whatever savings I got from the buy free, get one free sale. <sighs> and that is going to do it. That's all I picked up for the last two and a half weeks. Let me know what you've been able to pick up in the comments below. Let me know how you're liking the pickup videos. Like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Go support me on Patreon if you would care to. Big shout out to Totterbert once again for his continued support. Truly the best Patreon subscriber any YouTuber could ever have. And as always, keep it real internet. I love you guys.